Hello, I'm with the wonderful Amy McDonald, who, am I right in thinking you've camped at Tea in the Park uh -huh. in the past? Yeah, I've camped loads of times in the past, um, a few years ago now, and um, I don't think the weather was ever as bad as it is today, so um, I was very lucky, but I'm, I'm grateful I'm not camping so today. So you're, you're, not, you're not tempted to pitch a tent? I'm not tempted today, not by this weather. <laughs> now, you've had a fabulous uh, few weeks, haven't you, because you released the album it's done tremendously well. Yeah. And presumably this is going to be a chance for you to air that album in Scotland for the first time, really, live. Yeah, it seems like perfect timing. That, um, the album came out about a month ago now, and um, now we've got this, this gig tonight. So hopefully there'll be a few fans in the, the crowd that are singing along every word. So I'm just really looking forward to performing. Good stuff. And in terms of, you, you mentioned, I think, earlier on when we were chatting, you said you were planning a tour. Yes. So tell me about what you've got in mind for that. Uh, well, obviously UK, dates, oh. dates throughout the, the UK and then a lot of dates through Europe. There's so many countries that oh. I need to get to and so many that I've not been to before. So we're, we're looking at that now. Um, it'll probably be autumn time and um, hopefully I'll, I'll have some confirmed dates soon. And the album got to number two, which is obviously here. And I know you said it'd be number one in the places in Germany, etc. It was a great success. Uh, does that mean you're able to buy another car? Um, I don't on top know. Of your Ferrari? I don't know. It's early days yet, John. It's early days. Because well, you've, you've <laughs> actually described yourself as a, what is it, a petrol head? Is that what you call it? I think that's what other people call me. Yeah, I've oh. just I've just got a passion for cars ever since I passed my driving test. I just felt a huge buzz when I sat behind a, a wheel. And it's just something that, because I'm very lucky to be in this position, I'm, I've been able to develop that passion. If there was another car that you could get your hands on, have you figured out what it would be at this stage? Yeah, it would be a Bugatti Veyron, but that would need me to sell a lot more albums because it comes in at a cool one million. <laughs> really? Yes. Ah, so is that an incentive then when you say to yourself, well, if I do really well, I can get that? I don't know. I don't know. I need to do really, really well to, to get that, but we'll see. Fingers crossed. Do you get much chance to get out in the Ferrari? Um, not right now because I'm, I'm all over the place, mm. but um, when, whenever I'm at home and whenever it's a, a nice day, which it isn't very often, I, I like to just go on little drives here and there. Now, uh, obviously the weather is absolutely appalling at the moment <laughs> in the UK and in Scotland throughout the summer pretty much. Are you going to manage to get a holiday this year? I'm not, no, unfortunately. Very busy, so my, my holidays will be a few days off here and there in this weather, I'd imagine. <laughs> and if I, if I was to ask you here at Tea in the Park, in terms of all your previous uh, trips here, either as a performer or just as, as, as the saying goes, a punter, what is your kind of standout memory? I think for me it's always going to be the, the first time that I came here and I think it was 2000 but I might be a year or two out and um, it was coming to Tea in the Park seeing bands like Travis and, and all the other acts perform that made me want to play the guitar so it was after that that I started to teach myself to, to play the guitar so without that trip here I might not be in this position now. Wow that's incredible and have you still been writing new songs or, they, or do you stop and while you're doing the promo? I kind of stop just now because mm -hmm. I need time to write and I need to just be relaxed and because I'm so busy with the manic lifestyle right now I, I don't have much time to relax so I've, I've kind of stopped just now but if inspiration ever hits me um, then I'll, I'll usually pick up my guitar. I'm, I'm looking forward to, to watching Andy Murray play and I think yes. that if he wins then that might be quite a, a bit of inspiration for you, me. You'll write a song for Andy? <laughs> Possibly, I, I imagine I would be quite emotional. I was I was emotional watching him win his semi so we will see. <laughs> well that's actually a good incentive for him as well to win. <laughs> He'll get a song for him, yeah. yeah. Um, that, uh, yeah, I think you're a big fan of Andy Murray then, it's a big deal, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's a massive deal. I think that he is incredible. He's an amazing tennis player and um, I've always supported him, as have most of Scotland, and I think that he's done so well and um, it feels like it's his time now. That's great. Amy, thank you very much. Thank Good you. you thank you very much.